Today, Kevin and I have three random items to try for you. These are the nacho flavored corn nuts. These are the Ruffles baked cheddar and sour cream. And these are the Lay's kettle cooked buffalo chicken dip. The uh, the two that Kevin have, the buffalo chicken dip and the, the Lay's, they were a um, dollar each at Subway. You can only find the Lay's kettle cooked buffalo chicken dip at Subway. So we, we were right next door to a Subway. Um, actually, these were bought at Dollar Tree. There's a Dollar Tree right next door to a Subway in our area. So these were a dollar as well at Dollar Tree. So everything was a dollar no matter, no matter where you bought it. But these are the, it says new corn nuts nacho. Crunchy corn kernels. They also have a jalapeno. Nowhere in our area do they yeah, have we jalapeno. Looked we looked, yeah. And so it says uh, the real, uh, the real roasted corn kernels, the ultimate crunch. Uh, one third cup is 130 calories. There are four servings in this bag, and these are made by uh, Kraft Heinz. Mm. So I'm just gonna. I like corn nuts, but they're very hard. Or they usually are. I don't know. I haven't had corn nuts forever. They look like uh, corn. No, no, those aren't hard at all. The corn nuts I remember eating were very, very hard. Mm -hmm. mm, that one was kind of hard. That's like the corn you get in the trail mix, like the Wal the Great Value Walmart mm -hmm. trail mix. I love that. It I don't know if I taste nacho, but no, I'll tell you what. It's ex exactly what it tastes like. Exactly. It tastes just like an original Frito. Um, yeah, the corn flavor. Yes, an original Frito. Yeah, it does Frito. have the same kind of flavor of seasoning and everything. So, yes, it tastes identical. Mm -hmm. It's just in uh, this is crunchier. Yeah. This is I like them. I like those. But but it, if you closed your eyes and oh, you yeah, think 100%. of that flavor, that is a Frito. Yeah. Um, Which I, really, that's just a corn chip. <laughs> yeah, I don't taste any, honestly, no. I like it. I think it's good quality, but I'm disappointed because I wanted to taste nacho yeah. and I do not taste no, nacho. No, there's no cheese flavor or any spice of any kind. No. Mm. This is the Ruffles uh, Baked, 65% less fat, uh, cheddar and sour cream, 65% less fat, full flavor, 100% crispy goodness. Uh, one package is 140 calories. And these are made by Frito Lay. I like uh, cherry sour cream. Not, there's not much in here. I mean, it's like way down here, but it, it is only 140 calories. I mean, it looks like you get about 15 chips. That's it. This is the whole bag. Yeah. And for 140 calories, I guess that's not bad. These baked snacks always reminded me more of a cracker mm -hmm. than a chip. I Cracker's get, pretty light too. Yeah, I get the flavor though. I get more cheese mm -hmm. than the, the sour cream. They're not bad at all. If you need to eat a lower fat chip, then they're good. I actually like it. I like the cheese flavor of it. The cheese, to me, it doesn't have any funkiness to it at mm, all. No. Um, it's the typical cheddar sour cream cheese. Yeah, I, I really do like those, yeah. and I, I could eat those all the time. I could too. The texture, like I said, is more cracker-like for me, mm -hmm. which I'd rather have a chip if I want a chip and a cracker if I want a cracker. I like it because they don't. Um, if they're, um, I like a greasy potato chip, but these do not have that mm -hmm. greasiness. Um, I do like them quite a bit. Yeah, they're though. good. If, if you need baked, then, then go. For them. And this is what everybody's waiting for. These are the uh, Lay's Kettle Cooked Buffalo Chicken Dip. And you said these are only at Subway? They're only at Subway. I know. Isn't that weird? No, uh, maybe they'll come out in stores like after six months or something. Oop, that, there's a couple more in the bag. I didn't want to throw the whole bag out. These are 200 calories for the whole package. And let me get a... Ooh. You get a little bite of the vinegary flavor. You get a little sparkle in the back of your tongue from the buffalo. It's not really a burn. I consider it like a sparkle. Like a, a sparkle, I know. It's, it's little sparks of like heat on the back of your tongue. It even has a little bit of a meaty kind of flavor, like a chicken flavor. Not bad. 
Um, I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it have more cheesy flavor. It, uh, and I could keep eating them. I, I mean, know. I'm looking at all the foldovers and thinking, mm, I want that one and that one and that. Um, no, it has a good flavor. I'm thinking, does it, it, Kevin makes buffalo chicken dip, and it does not remind me of Kevin's buffalo chicken dip. No, and but, that's I do, what I'm comparing but I do get to. buffalo, and I do get chicken. You get chicken? I get a little bit of a meat. I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the meatiness. You're not getting that meatiness? Getting that was the, one of the first things I got. I'm getting the vinegar. Uh-huh. Um, you're getting the, a little tingle in the And a tongue. little bit of a tingle. Um, sparkles. Yeah, sparkles. Um, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the tingle, but it's not bad. It, no. it really, it's not enough to, to, um, be like, oh, that's hot. Literally, that's why like I call that. it sparkly instead yeah. of burning. It's yeah. not burning. It's just like no, a little I get pop. That. So. Yeah, I get that because it, it's not burning at all. No. Um, it's, it's just a, just a pleasant feeling. Um, I like them. I like them too. And I do get that chicken flavor. It doesn't remind me of, there's a little bit of a funkiness to it. That's, That's the probably chicken. the chicken. It is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. So the funk is the chicken. Um, I don't mind them. They wouldn't be my go-to lays at all. My and answer. truth be told, I'd rather have these. Um, I'd rather have the buffalo than those because oh, of the texture. But just because okay. of the texture more than anything. But yeah, yeah, I would rather have the flavor of these, the cheese in these than the buffalo chicken and that because it does leave you with a, a little bit of a funkiness. Yeah, it does. The aftertaste is a little chickeny. But it's different, and if you go in Subway, I think that'll go well with the Subway sandwich. I would, yeah. Yeah, I think and, any of those sandwiches you get, that would that would go perfect on the side of that. The corn nuts are really good. Corn nuts are, are good snack by themselves if you like that corn But crunch. it doesn't taste like nacho. It doesn't taste like nacho, but it'd be good to pour into a trail mix with other stuff. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, just know that the flavor is not yeah, that Yeah, it's not right. nacho, so yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a picture for you of these close up at the end and thanks for watching.